future friends. We're gathered to together today along with marchers in over 600 marches around the globe. They thought there would be a quarter million in DC, but now they're saying 500,000. And together, together, we are rising up in one voice to say, we will preserve liberty and justice for all. These words are not new, the vision is not new, but there has never been a time like now. There have been challenges, there has been the pernicious existence of sexism, racism, Islamophobia, heterosexism and more, but real progress has been made. There is so much at risk. We are gathered together to say, we will not collaborate. We will not assimilate. And we will not collapse in despair. For those who heard me introduce myself earlier, I am Rabbi Deborah Kalani, so I must bring you a little Torah. Today, on this Shabbat, we read the portion of the Torah of the Hebrew Scriptures that chronicles the beginning of our liberation. And who is at the center of this story but Shifra and Pua, the first people in recorded history to engage in civil disobedience. Shifra and Pua are the handmaidens, the doulas, who supported the Israelite women in their birthing, and they defied Pharaoh. We, like them, will defy the Pharaoh of our day. Trump is not our president. We, like Shifra and Pua, will ensure that our children live. Not only live, but live in the world we are dreaming for them. A world where black lives matter. A world where brown lives matter. A world where Asian and immigrant and documented and undocumented lives matter. A world where indigenous and transgender, two-spirit and queer lives matter. Where disabled lives matter where Muslim and Jewish and Sikh and Hindu and Buddhist and pagan lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> and death lives matter. Yeah. Where every one of us is safe and knows that we are necessary where every person's power and potential and beauty is honored and every person's dignity is protected. Every faith is seen as holy and every way of loving is known to be delightful. And every gender expression the ones we've already known about and the ones that are emerging and we can't even yet imagine, every form of gender expression is awesome. So let's see who we are. 
I'm going to call out an area of the state, and when I call out where you're from, you're going to put your fist in the air like this and say, here. And everyone else is going to say, welcome. We come from all over the state. If you come from outside Portland to the east, let us know you're here. Welcome! And if you come from the south of Portland, outside of Portland, let us know you're here. Welcome! And if you're here from the west of Portland, let us know you're here. of Portland, let us know you're here. Welcome. And if you're from Portland, let us know you're here. Welcome. I just have to ask this question. Is there anyone else here who marched with me in 1968 in New York City for the first March for Women's Rights in the second wave of feminism. If you were with me then, let me know you're here. <laughs> Welcome. And if this is your first March ever, let us know you're here. If you're here because there is a woman in your life that has taught you or mentored you, that you've read about or heard about, if there is someone who inspired you to be the best person you can be and she is why you're here, shout out her name. Whitney. And if there is somebody who is your child or the child of a friend or the child that you've taught that inspires you to be here so that this world will be better for him or her or them, shout out their name. <laughs> All of us together, we shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved Just like a tree that's standing by the water We shall not be moved Holy shit, that was beautiful. One more time. We 